My name is Hannah Thornton. I'm an intern at the Palmer Museum of Art, and I'm excited about the new special exhibition called Global Asias. This piece, titled Coca-Cola, by Vietnamese American artist Din Q Lee, was created by weaving together two different images. Inspired by this, I thought it would be fun to try combining different images through weaving. But first, let's start with a simple paper weaving project. To do this project, all you will need are a few sheets of colored paper that you are okay with cutting, scissors, and a glue stick. This project is very quick and simple, and each result can be entirely unique. To start out, grab your scissors and one of the papers you're deciding to weave. The first paper you choose will be considered your base. You will want to make sure the papers you're using are about the same size. They can be construction paper, newspaper, magazine pages, book pages, you name it. As you can see here, I'm using book pages. Decide on the sheets you want to use and pick the base that you want to start with. Fold your base paper in half and cut slits starting at the crease. Cut almost to the edge, leaving about a half an inch at the end. The slits can be as far apart or as close together as you want, but here I'm separating them evenly by about half an inch. Once all your slits are cut, you should unfold the paper and see a border around the slits, kind of like a picture frame. Once you have the base done, you're ready to start making your strips. Grab your second paper. This time, you will just be cutting the paper into even strips, as you see me doing here. You don't have to fold or save the edge like how you did with the base. Just cut the paper all the way through until you have a pile of paper strips. Once that's done, all you have left to do is weave them together. Start by taking one of the strips. Choose a corner of your base paper and insert the strip over the first slit, then under the second one. Over the third one, then under the one after that. And repeat until you get to the other end. Leave the extra hanging off the edge because we'll come back to it later. Take the next strip and follow the same pattern, except this time start with going under the first slit. Repeat this with all of the strips until the base paper is full. After that, if you have any strips hanging over the base paper edge, Take your glue stick and glue those ends to the base so that they don't move. Once the glue is dry, you can cut off any excess hanging over the edges. Congratulations, you've successfully made a paper weaving. The skill of weaving is a simple concept to grasp, but once skill develops, there is so much opportunity for growth and creativity. For instance, try weaving together two different images next time instead of just plain or colored sheets of paper. Or try variations with the weaving pattern. You could go over two and under two slits instead of going each other one. I hope that you had fun following along. Make sure to check out the Global Asia's exhibition by visiting the Palmer Museum of Art or by following along on the virtual tour that's available on the museum website.